Joining me now is the executive director of Breaking the Silence, Avner Gavriahu, who, with whom I toured some of the occupied territories in 2019, in particular Hebron, which is one of the starkest examples of the apartheid-like situation that exists for Palestinians. Uh, Avner, I want to talk to you about uh, some of the news we're just getting uh, right now first. Um, this does feel like an escalation. Uh, with each passing hour, we're getting more reports of, of rockets going uh, from Gaza to Israeli cities being intercepted by the Iron Dome and uh, more uh, efforts by the Israelis uh, to, to silence those rockets and to, and to punish the, the Gazans in particular. Yeah, it's great to see you, Ali, and it's. Um, uh, I think that's that's the precise um, you know point to, to understand. You know, where we're living this uh, this sort of groundhog day of of uh, cycles over and over and over again. Um, and I am speaking to you now from my apartment in Tel Aviv. Every, any second now, I could have to rush off to uh, a bomb shelter and something that just happened literally less than an hour ago. Um, but um, uh, I think part of um, what the, I try to keep reminding myself um, is that um, you know this, this reality that's taking place just a few kilometers south from here in Gaza is, is a man-made uh, crisis and, and one that uh, uh, I as an Israeli, I see myself as an Israeli patriot, uh, feel the responsibility to speak out against. Um, in order to change the, the reality here on the ground. Uh, Avner, you know, we know many people here in the United States who um, whose kids uh, willingly go over to Israel to to join the armed forces in a in standing in solidarity with a country that uh, they rightly believe deserves to live in peace and, and free of harassment. But there are some things that you know that you and I saw together. We saw Israeli soldiers doing that that uh, parents of these American kids don't know is going on, that, that this is not necessarily exclusively this patriotic job of, uh, of protecting for and standing for the state of Israel, which is an important job. There's more to it than that. There's active involvement by members of the military in, in uh, really breaking the spirit and controlling the lives of Palestinians. I mean, I, I would say, and this is true to Gaza, but, but definitely true to Israel in general. Um, you know, Israel not only has the right, but I believe the duty to protect its citizens. Um, and, and shooting into a populated area, I believe, is indefensible and should be condemned. Um, and, I, and, and I say that, you know, um, inequivocally, and, and I think that's important to understand. But we also have to realize that when we talk about Israel's control over Palestinians, and this is true to the West Bank and this is true to the Strip, um, what we've been doing um, for, for many, many years now, and this has definitely been true um, you know, with Netanyahu's leadership, is do whatever we can to entrench the occupation. And in the same way that we maintain our control over Palestinians in cities like Hebron, you know, with patrols, checkpoints, um, um, night raids, making our presence felt, showing our control, as we discussed on the streets of Hebron, some of these streets totally closed off for, for Palestinians, or as soldiers call them, sterilized roads. Um, we also see a reality, not only in Hebron, but also in the Gaza Strip, that part of the way that we control the Gazans are these reoccurring operations. Um, you know, this concept of mowing the lawn, that we are sort of in these cycles of violence. Now, this does not mean there is no uh, Palestinian violence. This does not mean that there isn't um, responsibility on leaderships on both sides. But, but I think it is important to say that a big part of the energy Israel is using with, using with its military forces, not in order to defend the state of Israel so much as it's to defend the Israeli control over Palestinians. And I think part of what uh, groups like Breaking the Silence are demanding or calling for is for the sake of Israelis and Palestinians, we have to rethink you know, the way we've been operating because another round is just around the corner and nothing that uh, another building in Gaza will, will collapse or sadly another Israeli citizen shot in his, you know, or killed in his apartment in Ramat Gan will end. The only way to end it is with political will. Um, and, and that's why it's so important for us to, you know, as, as those who carried out this military control, to speak out. 
Avner, uh, I understand there are sirens going on uh, around you, so please seek shelter. Uh, thanks for joining us. Avner Gavriahu is a executive director of Breaking the Silence.